What's up my friend, Abby here, and welcome back to Writer's Life Wednesdays. I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday so far, or whatever day it is you're watching this on. And if so, I hope this video is about to make it even awesomer. Awesomer. Is that a word? It needs to be. <laughs> Today, to wrap up our little romance series in February, we're talking about the meet cute. What the heck even is a meet cute? Well, according to Google, it's an amusing or charming first encounter between two characters that leads to the development of a romantic relationship between them. Pretty essential to any romance and any fangirl's heart. <laughs> of course, the way you do a meet cute is totally up to you and the perfect meet cute is totally subjective. <laughs> but what I'm gonna share with you today is a few elements that I think make a meet cute even cuter, like the cutest it can possibly be. Okay, first ingredient to a super cute meet cute is reader sees the meeting coming, characters do not. There are quite a few really cute meet cutes that don't do this. Essentially, you and the reader, the character and the reader doesn't see it coming, but I just really, really love meet cutes that do this. It's like that sense of rising dread, only you know something good is gonna come out of this chance encounter, and you see it coming before the characters do. For example, in Tangled, I swear I can't make a video without mentioning this movie, when Flynn is running from the law and decides to seek refuge in this conveniently hidden tower we know that Rapunzel is waiting inside. Or like in Roman Holiday, when Audrey Hepburn runs away from her royal responsibility and eventually falls asleep on a street. When the focus switches to Gregory Peck, we just know he's going to run into her somehow. We see it coming, which makes the meet cute even better. I always love doing this because A, it's fun, and B, it makes the reader feel smarter because they're in on something that the characters know nothing of. Ingredient number two. Characters don't know until after the meet cute that they're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. This one's always fun, especially for those awkward or embarrassing first encounters. You know how when you do something stupid in public or like even make eye contact with a total stranger and it's like so awkward and then you're like, oh, you know what, what are, what are the chances of seeing that person ever again? Well, imagine if come to find out you have to see that person a lot. Oh yeah. Awkward is cute. For example, in the movie Belle, one of my all-time favorites, Dido first runs into John when she's out walking at night. She's startled and pretty brusque when she learns he comes with a message for her uncle, but she's even more startled when she realizes that her uncle is actually John's tutor, and they're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. <laughs> or, or, or in Jane Eyre, when Jane first meets Mr. Rochester, he doesn't tell her who he is, but later when Jane returns to the house, she recognizes his dog and realizes the true identity of the guy she ran into on the road. This is always such a good ingredient for a meet cute because it just introduces this whole new level of awkward and of course that makes everything more adorable for our OTP. Next up, we have the most popular ingredient for a meet cute irony, aka something happening emotionally between the two characters that would never happen later on in the story. This is just a must. It makes every meet cute like 500 times better. Because when these two characters are in love someday, it's gonna be so funny to look back and see how ironic their first encounter was. I think you know what I mean by irony, but a good example is Anne of Green Gables. Karen. And again, Roman holiday. <laughs> you just keep your mind off the poetry, on the pajamas. Everything will be all right. Soon. I'll be with Shelly. I'll be back in about ten minutes. Ingredient number four. The first meeting makes the second meeting super awkward. This is kind of a given, especially if something ironic happened in the first encounter and the characters expected to never see each other again. The meet cute is now over and done, but the second meeting. Ooh, that, that just has so much, so much potential for just as much comedy and cuteness and drama. For instance, in Downton Abbey, when Mary and Matthew meet for the first time, Mary overhears him saying some offhanded things to his mother. Well, they're clearly gonna push one of the daughters at me. They'll have fixed on that when they heard I was a bachelor. Lady Mary Crawley. I do hope I'm not interrupting. Which of course makes their next encounter pretty awkward. Okay, and finally, this isn't really part of the meet cute, but bonus points if later when your characters are in love, you sneak in a little callback to their meet cute. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know 
I love callbacks. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the technical term for it, but that's basically what I call a line or an event that happens at the beginning of the story and then it's repeated or referenced towards the end of the story again in a completely different context, essentially calling it back to the reader or viewer's mind. Some particularly cute ones, thanks for asking, Anne of Green Gables. Carrot. Carrot. And Roman Holiday. <laughs> So happy, Mr. Bradley. And Jane Eyre. Get away from me. Witch. You always were a witch. And I'll stop fangirling now. <laughs> Those are just a few of my favorite things about some of my favorite meet cutes. It's the little things that make these moments iconic and just plain adorable. Comment below and tell me what are some of your favorite meet cutes in fiction or film and what is the most important ingredient to a perfect meet cute. Tell me in the comments below. Smash that like button if you like this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I post writing videos every Wednesday and I would love to have you here in the community. Until next week, my friend, rock on. Shoo.